Senior officials in the Obama administration are reportedly saying that behind closed doors, Israeli leaders are not as confrontational and that they understand the consequences of a military strike against Iran. But stirring up the rhetoric is former head of the Mossad and national security advisor, Efraim Alevi. He was quoted as telling the New York Times that the window of opportunity to hit Iran would end by the U.S. presidential elections and winter. He said, if I were Iranian, I would be very fearful of the next 12 weeks. I ask you to send an unequivocal message that America will never permit Iran to develop nuclear weapons. And I, I want to uh, reassert again uh, the position of the United States that uh, with regards to Iran, we will not allow Iran to develop a nuclear weapon, period. We will not allow them to develop a nuclear weapon. And uh, we, will, we will exert uh, all options in the effort to ensure that that does not happen. Because Iran is using terror the way anybody uses terror. You use it in stealth, you uh, hide behind somebody else in order not to uh, uh, be given responsibility for these heinous acts. Uh, and the same is done with Hezbollah. Well, we now have five Iranians in custody we have two Iranians, uh, two uh, 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 Hezbollah operatives, I, I believe, in custody. Some of them were found with explosives across a myriad of countries. It's them. We know it. Uh, and it's time for all countries to point the finger at the uh, country behind these attacks uh, and, the, uh, uh, and the group that helps them, uh, and that's Iran, with Iran's proxy Hezbollah. I think that's the first thing you have to do, expose those who stand behind terror. The second is uh, the, the question that you ask is exact a price for terror, because terrorism continues uh, as long as terrorism pays. So you have to make sure that it doesn't pay. Exposing them is the first step to make it not pay. And the last thing you asked about their nuclear program, I think, I think these acts, these attacks on a busload of tourists, including a pregnant mother, tells you what kind of people you we're dealing with. Now, imagine these people who, uh, who are capable of doing anything. Uh, imagine them possessing nuclear weapons, people who gun down innocent people, who sent suicide bombers, who could block the straits of, Tiro, uh, of Iran, who threatened to annihilate uh, Israel, who murdered diplomats, who've taken over your embassy. You want these people to have atomic bombs? I think, I think this is a reminder, this wave of terror attacks, that the world's most dangerous regime must not be allowed to have the world's most dangerous weapons.